Welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat, and this is your 12 Days of Google Christmas. We're all the way up to number eight, and the question of the day is, what is heaven? The first point we have to make is heaven is a place for the believers, and John 14 talks about it. It says this, there are many homes up there where my father lives, and I'm going to prepare them for your coming. When everything is ready, then I will come and get you so that you can always be with me where I am. Point number two, heaven is actually beyond our comprehension. Corinthians chapter two chats about this. It says this, no eye has seen and no ear has heard, no mind has conceived of what God has prepared for those who love him. Number three, Isaiah actually describes heaven for us based on his vision out of Isaiah chapter 65. Here it is. They will build houses and dwell in them. They will plant vineyards and eat their fruit. No longer will they build houses and others live in them or plant fields that others will eat. For as the day of the tree, so will be the days of my people. My chosen ones will long enjoy the works of their hands. They will not toil in vain or bear children doomed to misfortune. For they will be a people blessed by the Lord and their descendants with them. The fourth point the Bible wants to share with us about heaven is that all those with physical ailments will be healed. All those that are handicapped, those that are elderly, will get those healthy bodies back again. We find that also in Isaiah chapter 35 this time. He says this, Then will the eyes of the blind be open and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then will the lame leap like a deer and the tongues of the dumb shout for joy. The fifth and final thing that the Bible points out about heaven is that we as believers who have died in Christ will live with God himself and do so without pain or suffering. That comes out of Revelation chapter 21 where we read this. And I heard a loud voice coming from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. And they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eye. There will be no more death or mourning, or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Well, I hope this has been as informative to you as it has been to me. Merry Christmas. Happy eighth day of Christmas. I'll see you right back here tomorrow. <laughs>